Do you know your aunt is going to watch this? Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ruth Kim and on my channel I share my own experiences as a foreigner living here in Germany. Info that I know and I feel like if I share it, it's going to help someone else. I vlog, I do haul videos and sometimes I just want to have fun. So today guys, it's a big day. This is actually yes. the second male to be featured here on my channel. Normally, the only guy who, who is featured <laughs> here is Kevin, my husband, yeah. but today we have another guest, mm -hmm. so introduce yourself. Hi guys, I'm Liam, I'm living here in Germany and I do voluntary service as a volunteer. And he's actually also from Kenya. Yeah. So, because you guys have been asking me so many questions as well on how you can come to Germany legally, this is the second part of our video. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to ask him questions that you guys sent to me through Instagram. And Liam, yes. what is actually FSJ? What is FSJ? FSJ, uh, it stands for Freiwillige Soziales Jahr, das ist auf Deutsch, in German. But it's a state-funded program mm -hmm. whereby volunteers from all over the, all over the world mm -hmm. come to Germany to assist the less fortunate for example, the elderly in the society mm -hmm. and also um, the physically handicapped people. Mm -hmm. And it usually takes one year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the age limit is from 18 years to 26. Yeah. So Those it's something yeah. which is for the youth. Yeah, just for the youth. Yeah. Up to 27 years. Up to 27 years, yeah. And where are we? you from Kenya? Yeah, I'm from Kenya. Where did you find out about Davis Yacht? For my love of the languages, mm -hmm. uh, I enrolled myself uh, in German Institute of Professional mm -hmm. Studies, whereby they, they teach languages like German, French, Spanish. So I enrolled myself with German. And then uh, from the beginner's level, as I was just there, I found uh, a new, I, I got to know more opportunities in Germany, like doing UPE and FSJ, FSJ, the voluntary service. So I decided to take my chance in uh, trying to apply for this FSJ, yeah. And what are the requirements for the application of FSJ? Mm -hmm. Okay, so for FSJ first, uh, you have to have the language proficiency, which is B1. Mm -hmm. B1, that's so like the third level. So you need like B1? Yeah, B1. Not B1. even A1 or A2, no, B1. No, 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 no. You need B1 because uh -huh. uh, most of the time when you're doing voluntary service in Germany, you encounter a lot of people mm -hmm. whereby you need to communicate you need a lot of communication uh, with this German language, yeah? Uh -huh. Yeah, so uh, B1 is uh, first, the first requirement uh -huh. of doing the FSJ in Germany. And then the second thing you need also, uh, when you have applied uh -huh. and you have gotten a chance, this institution or the organization will ask you to show them that you have already volunteered somewhere. You can't just come in Germany just like that. You, you want must to have... volunteer in Germany and no, you've, you've not no, no, volunteered no, 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 no. in your own country. No, 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 no. You, you must have a little bit of experience uh -huh. first. So as for me, I volunteered uh, in children's homes and in hospitals in uh -huh. Kenya. Uh -huh. uh, like Madari Hospital, I was there with um, mentally uh -huh. uh, challenged people for some time and then... So you need these recommendation letters first before you start applying because you have to prove. You have so to prove. you have to uh, uh, yeah. to volunteer in your country first, yeah. get the recommendation mm -hmm. so that you can come and volunteer yeah. here in Germany. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, after having that recommendation letter, um, first you have to apply also. You have to apply. Yeah, you apply to a company that's here in Germany. Here in Germany, yeah. There's an organization in Germany which takes volunteers from all over, from all over. When you just apply... Where, the, where do you apply? Where do I apply? www.where? Okay, so uh, I used Freunde Waldorf. Freunde Waldorf is an organization, large organization in Germany, mm -hmm. which uh, brings volunteers here in Germany. Mm -hmm. Uh, these volunteers are distributed in various uh, institutions 
here in Germany. Here in Germany. Yeah. So they have a website, yeah. like you go into their website, website you apply yeah. there, and mm -hmm. when they take you, mm -hmm. you, the, it's a big company. Yeah, it's a very big organization. And have Germany, yeah. different institutions here in Germany. Yeah, and that it has a lot of different institutions here So in they Germany. send you in different places. In different places, yeah. Do you get to choose where you want to go? So, um, most of the time, you'll find they have chosen for you. Because you don't even have an idea. Yeah, because you don't even have an idea of these institutions. But the the good thing about Friend of Aldorf, they usually send you links mm -hmm. so that you can check also the institution before you come. So you can see what, what takes place in the institutions. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, in Germany, uh, you'll find these institutions, they have workshops. Mm -hmm. Whereby, for example, the, the handicapped, mm -hmm. they go there and work and mm -hmm. you see what takes place in the institution. Mm -hmm before you come so you have a, a a little bit of an idea before you come and to assist so um yeah so uh so you said uh, yeah. we, we were talking about the uh, requirements you said Bay yeah, Ains. Yeah. Bay Ains. you said you need recommendation letters from the places used to volunteer For in volunteer, your country yeah and you need to apply you need that you need an answer from the place you work you want to start working with here yeah, in germany here in germany yeah what else do you need and after you've gotten a place mm -hmm. and uh, that, a place means a contract mm -hmm. yeah when you've gotten a no, before you get the contract mm -hmm. first uh you'll have an interview a skype well, interview first ah, okay. with the organization first mm -hmm. whereby first they'll check your german skills mm -hmm. so, so german the interview is, is in german the interview is actually in german mm -hmm. so They'll check your German skills first. Mm -hmm. If they see you are, you can communicate well and they see your experiences mm -hmm. out there, they'll give you a chance. They give you a chance to come mm -hmm. and volunteer in one of the organizations. So after that, after they have chosen you, they'll send you back and they'll send an email back to mm -hmm. you, a feedback, and then you'll get now your contracts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When you get your contracts now, not the embassy so at the embassy you need all your documents so the documents which you need to take to the embassy are your birth certificate your school certificates mm -hmm. like your kcse certificate is very key and then you must also show that you have done a german language mm -hmm. by doing a b1 mm -hmm. getting a b1 b1 certificate from goethe institute mm -hmm. and then you need also um your contracts Mm -hmm. your contracts from the institution and also beforehand you have, you have to know you have to 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 educate yourself about the institution the institution yeah so you have to go through also your your papers your documents your contracts so because the the there. interview is most likely going they are going to ask you questions about questions. the institution that you'll be you're working, working with. with and also the the interview will be also in deutsch in german ah, okay. so yeah, so you have to prepare yourself. German has to, German, German language, German is, language very important. is very key, very key language. Yeah, before so, coming to the FSU, yeah. So, normally mm -hmm. in Jam, uh, in Kenya, we mm -hmm. normally pay 60 euros for the visa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you also pay that a uh, visa fee mm -hmm. as a volunteer? Okay, uh, since you're coming to Germany as a volunteer and you're coming to assist the less fortunate or mm -hmm. the physically handicapped in the society, it will be free. Do you know your aunt is going to watch this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to pay back the 60 euros. <laughs> Okay. So the next question was, what type of a visa is this? How what what do they name the visa? Okay, uh, this is a voluntary visa, a volunteer visa. So it goes for one yeah. year, right? Yeah, it's just for one year. They give it. So but year. can you extend the visa when you come here in yeah. Germany? There's a possibility you can extend your visa for up to six months. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that comes to eighteen months. Yeah, you can do your voluntary for 18 months. Yeah, you, you have the opportunity. So after you submitted your yeah. documents to the embassy mm -hmm. and you did your interview, how yeah. long did you wait for them to give you a feedback if you're going to get the visa or not? So I was even surprised. Uh, 
within one week i went to the embassy on a monday and on a friday i was sent an sms by g4s in mm-hmm. kenya whereby uh i I you're supposed to pick up your passport. My package, <laughs> and I was, I was, I was uh, a little bit uh, tensed because um, that was too one fast. Year, one, one week, one week is too fast. It's very fast. So um, hopefully, I, I managed to get my visa, and yeah. And the rest, because yeah. it's a voluntary year, mm-hmm. did you pay your own ticket or do they pay for your Since ticket? The voluntary service uh, is also part of the government mm-hmm. project um, there are also some sponsors who sponsor in plus the government so uh, for example if you don't have any uh, let's say you don't have money you, you you cannot buy a ticket they can at least pay a little part part, half of, it, or half of, part of it yeah but according to me i paid for my mm-hmm. own yeah but it depends it you depends happy because you've gotten the visa <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> just decided to pay uh, so yeah. you're here now you decided yeah. to pay for your own ticket and then you're already here in germany yeah. now yeah do did they offer you accommodation or where do where you don't even know where you're going do they offer accommodation well, uh in the contract it usually states uh everything about the accommodation like for me uh i have a, my own room uh-huh. in my in my institution so they work. offered you a room yeah they offered me a room uh-huh. i have somewhere where i can study i have a, a studying table uh-huh. i have uh, my own bathroom washroom where I what about just food privat. also the organization also offers food uh-huh. yeah so i have food and i have somewhere to sleep but also you might find also in your contract it states that you can stay with a family Uh-huh. and friend. then yeah a family or a friend and then you can go to your workplace and then you come back so they usually they usually tell you in your contract you'll, you'll see it yeah and do you get paid or because it's voluntary yeah. it's free yeah that's a very important uh, uh, topic yeah so yeah they usually pay you they usually pay you but it's not actually a salary it's just something to sustain you it's like a pocket money ah, yeah. okay then... yeah, just to sustain you in germany yeah ah okay that's yeah. nice do that's you mind nice. telling us how much approximately okay <laughs> it ranges from 250 to 300 ah that's yeah. that's enough if you that's have enough. a place to sleep food, food. then that's Okay. Yeah, and do, okay. do they like give you a, an opportunity because mm-hmm. we know with the au pair mm-hmm. you go for German classes. Uh, it's true. Uh, yeah. yeah, with FSJ do mm-hmm. you get a chance to to visit the German course? Yeah, there's an a, a big uh, opportunity for you to better your language. Mm-hmm. Like for example in the institution where I work, mm-hmm. they usually give you uh, they give us free German courses mm-hmm. according to our levels. Like for me I'm doing it by bit by uh-huh. day two. Uh-huh. Yeah. They usually give us books and revision materials and everything, yeah. And are you insured? Yes, I'm insured. I'm insured. Uh-huh. I have a health insurance is paid by the organization. And also uh when you're doing FSJ, voluntary service here in Germany, uh-huh. you'll get a card. It's called a Privileges Card. Uh-huh. Whereby when I want to visit a museum Uh-huh. I'll not have to pay all of it. I'll just pay half of it. It's like a student card. It's like a student card because ah, okay. I'm I'm volunteering. I'm I'm assisting. I'm rendering my services to the less fortunate. So they usually uh <laughs> 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 so uh when you're doing a uh, voluntary service in Germany mm-hmm. like for me I got a, pre- a privilege card that's mm-hmm. a voluntary card in Germany you can go to the museum museum mm-hmm. whereby you'll pay part not not all of it mm-hmm. but you'll just pay half of it or even when you you like to go for swimming to the movie activities to the cinema for the movies you will not pay all of it you'll just pay a little part of it yeah ah, so nice. that's a plus also for being a volunteer in Germany and also um like from the Waldorf they usually give you a bank card uh-huh. a bank card so this bank card uh, you don't have to pay 
all of it. You don't pay. So if you want it. to go and explore your city, your city, yeah, you have the ticket. Yeah. You don't have to pay for the bus or the train. No, no, no. You don't have to pay all of it. You just pay half. Ah, okay. Yeah, so that, it's nice. it's very you can explore from all over. And how how many hours do you work in a day? So in a day I work for 9 hours. Mm -hmm. But uh since I get 2 days free, mm -hmm. 9 hours is okay because I have Saturday or Sunday that's when I'm free. So you work from Monday yeah. to Friday. Yeah, I work from Monday to Friday. And do you have like holidays? Do you have vacation? Yeah. During your one year. Yeah. You have 28 days mm -hmm. holiday whereby you can take your holiday days but you can't take all of it at once. At yeah. once, no. Uh -huh. You can, you just take like two weeks, you go for holiday and then another month you can take only a week. Uh -huh. Yeah, and just explore Germany. Yeah. So Liam, mm -hmm. what are some of the challenges that maybe you face as a nephesiot? Some of the, you mm -hmm. know, we have been saying everything nice, nice, nice. Yeah. What are some of the challenges that you're going to face when you come here as an officiotra? So, uh, the challenges that I've faced uh, since I came to Germany, mm -hmm. first, the language. The language. I thought that when you learn up to be and you're comfortable <laughs> mm -hmm. to, to speak like a German, but I was wrong, I was wrong. Because uh, these people speak with a certain accent, and which you have to get used to, mm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So the language was a uh, was a barrier. The food also was a challenge for me. Mm -hmm. First, when I arrived in Germany, I was asked if I I have I, I feel hungry, mm -hmm. and then I thought I'll they'll bring rice or warm flesh warm or something food. warm, something warm, so that because it was winter and I thought it would be nice, but. To my surprise, they gave me bread. <laughs> they gave me bread. They gave me butter and marmalade and tea. And that's the Abend. They, they call it Abend Essen. Abend Essen is like supper or dinner. Yeah. So I had to adjust myself from my culture to the German culture. To the German yeah. food as to well. To the German food also. Mm -hmm. Did you experience like the feeling of being alone in a different country? Yeah. Uh, I remember this this day uh, I went to the nearby town. Mm -hmm. I was just alone and then uh, that's when uh, mm -hmm. the homesickness. I got the homesickness because I knew I'm in totally in a different world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw different people and I was like... All What's all this? <laughs> and then, so yeah, so I experienced homesickness my first time also in Germany. But as you are continuing, I met some new friends. But also earlier, I did not have any friends. Germans are not social. Mm -hmm. They're not. They're not very social. Mm. So if you are having problems with the place, the institution that you're doing, you are. FSU. Yeah. Do you have an opportunity to change from that institution to another institution? Yeah. So the good thing about uh, Friend of Waldorf, mm -hmm. once we arrived here in Germany, we had a seminar and we have a leader who is taking us through this mm -hmm. year. So after every three months, there's a seminar mm -hmm. whereby you can go and uh, tell her all your problems. And then after, let's, ask, let's say your institution doesn't favor you. Mm -hmm. Our leader uh, will 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 try as much as possible to change you to another institution. Ah, okay. Yeah. So there's uh, freedom. You can when when you have problems or you feel you're not satisfied where you are or the food doesn't taste well, we we usually also call her. We contact her, and also during the seminar is the best time because we are all of us, all the volunteers, and then we say all our problems, and then. If you feel it's not okay, you can. She can. She'll see what to do. She'll change you. Yeah. So last but not the least, mm -hmm. uh, what would you advise someone out there who is in their native country mm -hmm. and they want to come to Germany and volunteer? I would like to tell you this is a great chance to come to Germany, whereby you'll uh, experience the German culture with the people, because when you're doing FSJ. You are together. You are even working with the working, Germans. Working with the Germans together. That's why it's called 
Dorfgemeinschaft. Dorfgemeinschaft means community, mm -hmm. whereby you come together as a community, whereby you'll experience the culture well, and also you'll meet other volunteers from other places. Mm -hmm. So you'll also meet other cultures. Yeah, so I'll just like to urge you to just to learn the language first, have the passion, and then you come and we experience uh, the voluntary service together here in Germany. So guys, if yeah. you have any questions on this topic FSJ, don't forget to put them in the comment section below. Yeah. Liam will definitely go through them and answer them. I'll yeah. make sure of that. Yeah. Thank you so much, Liam, for Thanks coming to our much. channel. Good. Good. You're welcome. Yeah. He, he's actually a German language teacher. He yeah. didn't mention that. Yeah, I'm a German teacher. I usually taught the first level and the second level. I'm in Kenya, yeah. Yes, guys, thank you so much for watching. Say they should subscribe. So please subscribe down to this channel, like, and if you have any questions, just write it down. We'll answer We're going to mention or to put the link uh, from this Aldorf something. What is the name of it? Aldorf. From the website where you can yeah, yeah. apply for the FSU. Yeah, from the Aldorf, yeah. Thank you so much, guys. Bye. Bye.